Okay? White belt option is this. I'm going to grab the guy and I'm going to bring, it's a good way to practice uh, your hook sweeps. I'm going to leave my right foot in and I'm going to take my left foot out. Now I leave my inset on the outside of his knee here just for further control, but it also gives me a, uh, a little sort of positional uh, constant variable. Okay, if I keep it here. Whereas if it's here, who knows where it is? I prefer to keep it here. So what you're going to do is attach yourself to them and try to get over this arm and now just fall to your side and now use your left foot on the mat to get your hip high and that will make for an easy sweep. Sometimes when you uh, can't sweep a guy, ah, but see how his hip's above mine? So if his hip is above mine, he is more qualified to stay on top. Because he is on top, his hip's on top of mine. So if I turn on my side here and then watch, I use my left foot to get my hip high, see how just by sheer sort of placement of logistics here, I got to the top, I just lifted my hip higher than you. But see the position where I end up? You are dead. If you land with someone like this, this guy, the only hope he can do is to bring his left arm into play. And if he does, I'm gonna smash that thing. Okay, so he's in really big trouble here. I've got both armpit real estate. Eek. Here. So, my belts, right foot in, left foot out. Left arm over, right arm under. Fall onto your left shoulder, just like that. He won't get swept, but watch when I get my hip high. <laughs> He gets swept, and I'm right here. See how I've got under both of his armpits? He is in for a long day right here, okay? So, that's why the come. We do the first half the same. I try to sweep him from here. I get my hip up, and now watch what I do with my left leg. I bring him over the top of his, and now I'm gonna pull him over me, and look what position we're in, guys. Here. If he tries to bring this foot to come and defend, I'll take it both and get straight back to where I was. If he wants to keep that to himself, be my guest. I'm right here. Okay, so let's have a look at this one again. It's a butterfly entrance into a 411, very simple. So I'm here, I lift him up, and I get my hips up, but he's not falling. Look, he's not falling. So I bring my left knee over, and now I bring him over me, and I'll come straight for this heel. When he decides to try to kick my hands off, I'll collect both. Because from here, I've got a knee bar and like a, uh, almost like an ankle lock, a calf slicer type approach here. But if he gets that foot out, no problem. I'm right here. Okay, so one more time at speed for the color drop version. He's not going. Here, he brings the foot in, no problem. Takes his clover leaf all day. If he gets the foot out, be my guess. Okay, so that's what we're doing today, guys. So you've got a more advanced butterfly hook sweep for white belts and color belts. We're gonna use the butterfly to elevate, and then we're gonna sneak our left leg over the leg and pull them over us, just like we're sweeping them, and that will put us into our 411 inside the hook position. Okay, let's go. Thanks for watching the video guys. I hope you loved it. For more free videos, click here. And if you'd like to get our free footlock masterclass, please click here. And if you'd like to help support me so I can help bring you high level jujitsu for free every day, please click here. Thank you for watching guys. I'm Coach Tom. I'll see you next time.